Yeah, bang, bang, bang. All right, so uh, good day today. I was over at Beaconsfield uh, and uh, seeing the cars and all that and with, with some girl, uh, this girl, she's very, very posh. Um, listen, she's just come to see me. I just took her around the cars and uh, she was over the moon, mate. So I was real happy, you know what I mean? She enjoyed it. Uh, she had a dip in the pool. Uh, she had a little bit of jacuzzi. Yeah, it was nice, man. We had a good, we had a good time together. Uh, then I got a cab um, back, um, dropped her home. But on the way from from this place, yeah, to past Beaconsfield, we're going past Beaconsfield. Um, the Bellas Hotel, the big Bellas Hotel, it's changed its name now, I think. But it's by the, I remember it was a Bellas Hotel because I was a boxer when I was when I was amateur. Yeah. I've had about 10, 10 amateur fights in the Bellas Hotel years ago. As we're coming down the road, yeah, uh, there's a bit of a traffic jam, and you see all these travellers uh, on these uh, with the horses and, the, and you know little carts rushing up and down the road, and there's a little traveller sat on the right hand side, and all the cars are parked up and the lawyers are parked up. What's going on? And they see this guy walking down, traveller walking down the road with one of them carts but no horse on it, yeah. So you're thinking, no, it can't be, surely, you know what I mean, mate. As we were driving down, it stopped, the car stopped, and there was two cars in front of us with, two, with three or four guys in the motor. And these travellers, yeah, was kicking this horse, mate. This brown and white horse, they was kicking it, bashing it up, punching it and everything, trying to get it off the, off the floor, yeah, off the ground, off the road, yeah. This poor horse, mate, was exhausted, you know, they must have, like, had it run up, run up, down, up, up and down a big, the, the lane there, the road there, yeah. Had it run, had it run up and down there, yeah. And it just collapsed, you know, I suppose it had no water. It was boiling hot, it was racing, it just collapsed, mate. And it was kicking it and punching it, right? I swear to God, mate. These guys were going mad in the van, shouting at this, this, this one of these travellers, yeah. And there's about eight or nine all got jumped out of motors, other travellers having to go to these people in the van. But I'll tell you something, mate, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're going to have horses, you've got to look after them, you know what I mean? You can't be bashing horses up, you know what I mean? You can't be kicking them, you can't be kicking them in the head and punching them in, in, in the face for them to get up, for them to get up. They can't get up, mate, they're exhausted. You've got to give them water, you've got to look after them, you've got to bathe them all in that cold water, you know what I mean? I mean, what you've done there was terrible, mate, you know what I mean? You know, someone like you needs to, needs a right-hander, mate, needs to, he's the one that needs the right-hander, you know what I mean? And it wasn't for the fact that I was with my, my, my girl, not my girlfriend, the girl that I know very well, you know, and there's a few more people with me, I'd have got out of that fucking motor and I'd have punched you all around the gap, mate. I said, because what you've done there was really out of order, you know what I mean? You don't be eating horses. That'd be kicking him in the, in, the, in the head. You know what I mean? This poor horse. I mean, a friend of mine was telling me, when I found out my mate, who's got horses himself in fields, yeah? He was telling me, yeah, that about two weeks ago, he see a horse being pulled into the side of the grass verge, dead. Dead as a, a dodo, mate, just brown, just dead. You know, and it'd been, it been smashed to pieces. It had been either hit by a car, or well, these people had just bashed it right up, and it was just smashed to pieces as balls. Why have horses if you can't look after them? And when they put horses in fields, where with great big boulders around their neck and they can't move, you know what I mean? They be, Listen, why? Why do they have to be so wicked to animals and dogs? Why do they have to have dogs that, that all night long are barking, 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 because they need to be fed? They need water, you know what I mean? Why? You know, I can't make it out, mate. They're, they're not human beings, you know what I mean? You know, and that, I mean, over the years, um, I've had plenty of fights with travellers, yeah? Uh, loads of fights. Because when I used to live, when I used to live in Lewisham, around New Cross and all that, there was traveller sites, and I used to have fights with travellers over there for, for um, for Johnny, you know, Johnny Critterton. We've had a few fights with travellers over there who are wicked to animals and things like that, you know what I mean? But to see it like that, mate, it, it, it just shocked, shocked me. And the girl that I was with, you know, she's very, very posh, you know what I mean? She was, like, devastated. She was really, like, cheerful, you know? And I thought, why, mate? Why? Anyway, it's bang, bang, well. 
Uh, I just can't believe what, what happens. Anyway, take nice one. Bye.